there, friends. Welcome back to another video. So it is character day at school, the day I'm recording it, so which is why I'm dressed like a mouse from If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Um, but we are going to be looking into a story that has nothing to do with a mouse and instead has to do with penguins. So we are going to be reading a story called All About Penguins. We're going to be looking at the silent E words in that story. We're going to be looking at the blends in that story. And we're going to be thinking about the comprehension. So we're going to be doing some main idea and details together. And then you're going to be correcting some sentences and writing your own sentence on your own. So let's get started. This story is called All About Penguins. It is written by Keith and Sarah Cortamont Martin. And it is from ReadingAtoZ.com. So let's start here at the beginning. All penguins are birds. We're going to see that sentence frequently throughout here, so I want you to pay attention to it and read it along with me. Some penguins are in cold places. Let's take a look at the word place. The word places or place is a silent E word. It also has a blend in it. We can sound this word out because we see the E at the end. Um, that silent E making the A long, right? So that A is going to be saying its name, A, instead of its short sound, A, because of our silent E. And that PL at the beginning, when we put those sounds together, says pull, right? P -ul pull. So all together we say P -ul -a -s. And then if we want to make it plural, places. So it's a great demonstration of some of the words we're going to be looking at today. All penguins are birds. Some penguins are in warm places. Again, we have the word places. All penguins are birds. Some penguins are black and white. Let's take a look at the words black and white. The word black has a blend and a digraph in it. The digraph it has is CK. CK is a consonant digraph, two letters making one sound, that when we put them together, they say k. The BL at the beginning is a consonant blend. We put those two sounds together, but we still hear both of those sounds. We hear b and ol. Bull, a, k, black. We can sound those, um, sound this word out individually by saying b, ol, a, k, black. But we can also think about how it's a consonant blend, and we're taking those two consonants and blending them together to make a word. Now let's take a look at the word white. The word white is a silent E word and it has a consonant digraph. The consonant digraph it has is WH. WH says w, 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 just like W does. And we see that there is a silent E at the end of this word. Since we don't hear the sound E eh at the end, we can assume that it's a silent E. And since we hear the I in the word white, w, I, t, white, we know that that silent E is making that vowel say its name. It's hopping back one consonant to make the vowel long and strong. All penguins are birds. Some penguins are blue and white. So on this page, we have the word blue. It has the consonant blend BL, bull. We see that at the beginning of the word blue. And again, we see the word white with the consonant digraph WH and the silent E with the long I. All penguins are birds. Some penguins are little. All penguins are birds. Some penguins are big. All penguins cannot fly. All penguins swim well. Let's take a look at the word swim. We see that there is an SW at the beginning of this word. We can kind of blend those sounds together too, right? We have two consonants, but we're still hearing both sounds. S -w -i -m, swim. So we know that we hear both of those sounds, but we can still help, um, it can still help us sound it out that way. And that is the end of our story. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna read it all together one more time, and then we're gonna go through and do that main idea and details. So let's take it all the way back to the beginning. All about penguins. Read with me. All penguins are birds. Some penguins are in cold places. All penguins are birds. Some penguins are in warm places. 
All penguins are birds. Some penguins are black and white. All penguins are birds. Some penguins are blue and white. All penguins are birds. Some penguins are little. All penguins are birds. Some penguins are big. All penguins cannot fly. All penguins swim well. All right, awesome job, friends. So now let's head over to our main idea and details. So we're gonna be doing this on Seesaw and then I'll explain what you're doing on Seesaw on your own. So let's start with our main idea. What would we say this story was about? If we had to pick one thing to say what this story was about, what would we say? Yeah, we'd say it was all about penguins, right? It told us right there in the title, all about penguins. And then it proceeded to tell us a bunch of fun facts about penguins. So our main idea was definitely penguins. So I'm going to use the text tool to type the word penguins and then put it here in my main idea box. Now we need to come up with four supporting details that support that main idea. So let's go back in the story and see if we can find four details or four fun facts about penguins that we could put in our supporting details boxes. So we know from the beginning that all penguins are birds. What fun fact did we learn on this page? That's right, we learned that some penguins are in cold places. So let's put that on our first box. Some penguins live in cold places. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. I'm gonna put it in my first supporting detail box. Now let's go back to our story, see if we can find another fact or another supporting detail. What supporting detail did we learn on this page? Good, on this page we learned that some penguins are black and white. So I'm gonna use my text tool to type, some penguins are black and white. And again, I'm gonna make that smaller and then move it into my supporting details box. Let's keep going and see if we can find two more supporting details. What supporting detail did we learn on this page? Good, on this page we learned that some penguins are little, but let's not write that down just yet. What did we learn on this page? That's right, on this page we learned that some penguins are big. So I'm going to combine both of those details since they both have to do with size, and I'm gonna put them into one supporting detail. And to do that, I'm going to say, penguins can be big or little. That way I've used my text or I've used my story to support what I'm writing down, but I can put a little bit more detail into those supporting detail boxes. So now we have just one more supporting detail. What supporting detail did we learn on this page? That's right, we learned that penguins swim well and we learned that penguins cannot fly. So we can put both of those in there or just one. I'm gonna to choose to write one and I'm going to say that penguins swim well. Then I'm going to make it smaller and put it in my supporting detail box. So let's go over what we learned. Our main idea was penguins, all about penguins. Our first supporting detail was that some penguins live in cold places. Our second supporting detail was that some penguins are black and white. Our third supporting detail was that penguins can be big or little. And our last supporting detail was that penguins swim well. Let's go back to that main idea for a second. We know it's all about penguins, but what sentence did we see on almost every page? We see it on this page here. That's right, all penguins are birds. Now I told you to pay attention to that in the beginning and now is where it's coming back. So now that we have some fun facts about penguins and in those supporting detail boxes, we can kind of look at our main idea and realize we can even make that a touch more specific too. So I'm gonna add to this and I'm gonna say that all penguins are birds. 
let's check our details and see if that still makes sense. So all penguins are birds, and some live in cold places. Sounds good. All penguins are birds, and some are black and white. Yep, still works. All penguins are birds, and some can be big or little. Looks good. All penguins are birds, and some of them, and all of them, swim well. Okay, so all of our supporting details still support that main idea. All right, friends, awesome job. So what we are going to do now is we are going to look at your seesaw activity and what you're going to be working on today. So there are directions on the page right here. If you hit that play button, it'll um, explain this to you again. But all you're doing here is you're adding periods to these um, sentences to make them complete sentences. Right now, there's two sentences for each number. So number one has two sentences, number two has two sentences, number three has two sentences, and number four has two sentences. Your job then is to decide where you should put the periods to split them up into their individual sentences. So for number one, it says, mom chooses a book, I choose a book. My first sentence then would be, mom chooses a book, right? So I'm going to use my drawing tool and I'm going to put a period after that sentence. Then it says, I choose a book. That's my second sentence, so I'm going to put another period there. You're going to do the same thing for each one of these. And then you're going to write your own sentence about the story here at the bottom. So it can be how you felt about the story, something you learned from the story, really anything as long as it has to do with the story that we read. You're going to write or type that on the lines here and then click that check mark to turn it in. But we mustn't forget, friends, we do need our code word today. And our code word today is going to be penguins. So you can use the text tool or the drawing tool to put the word penguins in our code word box down here at the bottom. All right, friends, that'll do it for today. I hope you enjoyed our story about penguins and learning all about penguins. Good job practicing that silent E, those blends, and um, being able to answer some questions about the text. I'll see you all next time, friends. Rock on, my superstars.